A tense standoff in South Sacramento now over. Two teen girls were at the mercy of a gunman that one of them met on held for hostage for several hours and it appears now they're all okay. SWAT sharpshooters were at the ready and neighbors were evacuated. It all started with panic-stricken screams for help coming from that home. Let's go out to Mount Peel your way. And Chris Bill, initially it sounded like four girls were inside that home. Was that the case? Yeah, you had four girls. Two of them made it out well before the others. And if you take a look at the scene right now, you still have a handful of police officers looking into things. Now, while all this was going on, you had a lot of extended family of the victims out here waiting for this thing to end peacefully. It did. Above the police car, you can see the suspect coming out with his hands up. Say Yu Yang, ending a nearly three hour long standoff. What's sort of going through your head right now? Um, I hope that nothing bad happens. Shua Kong was worried about her four cousins inside the house with the suspect, all teenage girls. Shua says her 16 year old cousin met the suspect online. We heard that it's her boyfriend from Minnesota. Yeah. So she had uh, talked with him. They're, they've been dating for a while, but she had never really met him before. And so this is the first time that he has come to visit her. Not a good way to first visit. Yes. Police say during this visit, the 16-year-old girl got into an argument with the 23-year-old suspect, and he pulled a gun. When police got there, they say he pulled a gun on them, too. You know, obviously with with potential hostages inside, uh, it was a big concern for officers. Um, he showed a propensity to be potentially violent by pointing the gun at the officers. The four teens came out before the suspect, all okay, but probably shaken up. Police say there's a lesson to be learned here. I mean, really, when you're talking to someone via the computer, you really don't know who they are, and you don't know their background, you don't know what they're capable of. In this case, um, you know, you're out of state, it's a teenager talking to an adult, um, you know, all kinds of red flags. Now you're looking at a tow truck driver hitching up the suspect's vehicle. Police say they were able to recover the suspect's gun inside the home. And they are saying at this point they're not sure where the parents were in all this situation, uh, while all this was going on, and w before all of this was going on. But uh, that's something that they're definitely going to be looking into. Yeah, Chris, this story certainly sends shivers uh, through parents ev everywhere watching this because it's so hard to control what your kids are doing online. Is there evidence that you talked about the suspect's car that he actually drove out from Minnesota? That's something that we haven't been able to get confirmation on. There is a chance that he drove out here, but there's also a chance that he rented a car after flying in. So at this point, we're not really sure, but that is a pretty long drive, and, and you see how it ended here. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like he'll be calling jail home for a little bit. Thank you very much for that report. Now let's go to the...